My name is Jade Oakley. I'm a public sculptor and I've been commissioned to make an artwork for the Avenue Park. The theme was growth. So I was thinking about growth in terms of this place and how it relates to the site. I also thought about growth in nature and how growth in nature sort of mirrors or we mirror growth in nature. The way a community grows is like roots underground or the veins in a leaf, sort of branching patterns. So I was sort of talking about creating a link between that conceptually. So my name is Victoria Jones and I'm the project curator. Community consultation is really important with public art because as the name suggests, public art is for the public. So it's really important that we engage the communities that will, will look at this artwork every day. So we, we go out and we do consultation sessions, we talk to the community, we, we allow them to meet with the artist and take part in creative workshops. And that way people are engaged, they're part of the artistic process and so they're involved from the beginning all the way through and so when the artwork is then installed people they really feel part of that and they engage with the artwork and hopefully they cherish that artwork when, they, when the outcome comes. Yesterday we talked to some people from the Casey Gardens um, Retirement Village and we had them first of all talking to them so that they could understand the artwork and engage with it but secondly, to gather their stories from, from the site and also to get them to do some drawings which will hopefully become part of the artwork. When you look at a leaf, you see the veins of the leaf creating branching patterns and linking um, across the landscape. And if you look at a map of Caroline Springs, you can see all the, the streets making similar patterns. So the leaf is really a metaphor for growth and the artwork is called Second Nature because it's about us being part of nature or a, or a second of nature. I, I'm enjoying the whole process to tell you the truth. Um, this next part is I'm drawing the leaf again in detail and then I'm working with a fabricator to have it water jet cut and rolled and um, an engineer to sort of um, figure out how which sort of thickness of metal and how many supports it needs. So, I love the feeling of the construction, like putting this thing together is really fun. And then placing it in the landscape is a whole nother, another exciting part of it. You know, which way should it face? How does it relate to the playground? So the setting in the landscape will be a really special part of the, the artwork. What I'd aim to do is to find places where I can etch people's drawings of leaves and maps into the ground around the sculpture so it spreads out the, the idea within the park. Over the process of two days, Concut um, etched the pavements with the sketches from the community. They heat the concrete up with an oxy torch, make sure it's really clean and then get an adhesive vinyl to stick down onto it and then they blast it on site with um, a sand made out of garnet. And so everyone is different and yeah, they, all, they change according to where you are on the pathway. My name's Lara Carley and I'm the Mayor of the City of Melton. Today, it's a very exciting day today. Today we are launching and we unveiled the new art piece that we have here in Caroline Springs called Second Nature. It's really special to have a launch from public artwork and that's what's happening here today. Often when I make a sculpture, I install it and that's it and there's no celebration. So it's really exciting to have members of the community and council and people involved in the project here to celebrate the launch of the artwork. The council's been terrific, just so communicative and supportive throughout the project. Um, and also Victoria Jones from T Project, so it's it's a combination of both. They've been really great to work with, um, and the community's been fantastic, very positive and enthusiastic. The community were involved in developing the second leaf of this sculpture, and I think once you've got the community involved, and I've heard that it's been um, littleies from really young that could barely hold a pencil to the to the older community members. Once you've got that community involvement, they really take kind of like a, a sense of pride and ownership on this piece. And I think when we've got pieces like uh, art pieces around the community, and they become kind of like landmarks around the municipality. <laughs>